So today we're going to be talking about online dating from virtual to reality. Quite scary. Dating sites can be overwhelming and very frustrating, just to say the least. This is the reason why when we go online, we try and represent ourselves this, the, the best that we can. And we have to be extremely careful on what personality we're projecting. These are some of the tips that I believe could really help you to probably meet the person that has the same frame of mind as you, maybe the same value system, and hopefully you can get to marriage. You never know. Let's go through them very slowly. Posting your pictures. When it comes to your dating app, your pictures are truly worth a thousand words or more. They will give you a potential match and an idea of what you will look like in reality, your personality and the person that you are. Do not post anything too explicit and not just things with your family or your kids. You have to make sure that you show yourself as different dimensions, you multidimensional, as we say. This will definitely will have avoid a lot of disappointments and will actually save you a lot of times. Pictures are important for all of us. Number two, make easy to start a conversation once you get chosen or you choose. Starting a conversation with somebody that you don't know can be a little bit difficult, but maybe, maybe you can actually use one of the pictures as a reference of a subject so if somebody's cooking, they're kayaking, playing football, or if they're just going into the forest, ask them questions on how long they've been doing that, why they're interested, why they're happy doing it, and let it flow. Sometimes it's easier, easier than you think. Number three, skip the small talk. Oh, that boring talk. How are you? What's your name? What do you do? We get it. Small talk feels easy and safe, but that's, that's not really how we're going to make a meaningful connection with somebody. To do that, you will have to be very comfortable and very, very, very vulnerable. Share information that will help you a potential match and really get you to show them the real you. Your profile should be an extension of your personality, your silly side and the more serious side of you. Knowing your red flags. Some red flags are super obvious, but others are a little bit more subtle. Making them hard to catch when you're trying to convince yourself when someone might be the one. If someone who is treating you like an option and not a priority, making you question their interest and who thinks they aren't ready for a serious relationship is probably not a good fit. Instead, Go for the green flags. Someone who is a great communication a communicator, um, has got great intentions and has time for you. Ask questions. Before you even get online dating, write a list of things that you really want to know about the person that you're going to be interested in online. Just because the profile looks good doesn't mean that will be good. Don't get disappointed. Don't try and create yourself the idea of a person that you're going to be dating. Don't create that fairy tale. Just if you don't know something or you want to ask, do it. Don't hesitate. Next stage, learn how to unmatch somebody. I know it can be a little bit difficult. Have a feeling that your match is not going to work out. That's totally okay. Not everything does. But it can feel awkward when you want to end that conversation. And how do you do it without um, ruffling feathers, as they say? Well, there's one way to make it easier. And is to have a message that you can send. Maybe keep it on your, on your notes or something. Say something like, hey, I really enjoy meeting you, but... I don't think we're a romantic match. Commit to sending this as soon as you know you're not interested in somebody. Be firm, be, firm, be kind, but do not ghost people. It's not nice. 
The next one is quite important. Give it some time. Even when it feels there's no spark initially. In the movies, it's easy to feel like there's a lifelong relationship and we see it all the time. But to catch somebody to fall in love with and feel that electricity sometimes takes a little bit of time. And remember that some of the best connections come as, as a slow burner and then you get that spark. Give someone the chance, even if you don't feel the initial chemistry. Some of the best relationships are between people who didn't actually feel the spark, but then grew to each other with more and more over time. I want to give you some don'ts that will help you if you meet up in person and you get to that stage. Do not analyze everything, overanalyze it. The point of the first date is not to decide if you want to marry this person, is to create a connection. Have an experience together and determine if you want to hang out again. If you sit through a date trying to evaluate the other person and your own reaction is kind of dry, maybe you're just not really enjoying it. Give it a little bit of time. And something that we'll always say, number two, don't treat a date like a job interview. Oh, this drives me crazy every time the girls go out. That is the last thing you want. Don't greet each other with questions like they will do in an interview. Well, I hope that this will help you. It's just a few tips that I believe will definitely help you in this work planet. You have to decide if this is for you or not. If you don't get the chance to meet people face to face, you don't go to places and this is your choice, take note of this because it will really help you. Write down a few things on your notes as mentioned and take the time to decide if whoever you're matching is more physical or there is also something else that you guys can connect with. Remember, what you want is out there. You just need a bit, little bit of time and do not be desperate to get to a relationship that may not even be the right one for you. I'll see you soon.